Hello friends, this is just a little video. Uh, I was trying to get high voltage from this microwave transformer and uh, the goal was to get um, to use pulsed uh, DC into the primary to get high voltage out of the secondary and uh, you know in most applications you would use um, AC with the primary to get high voltage. The only way you can get uh, high voltage output um, using DC is to pulse it. So uh, yeah, I tried um, I tried a number of things. Uh, at first I made this little uh, contraption here. Um, yeah, it's just a little electric motor hooked up to part of another electric motor and it, it pulses uh, DC. As you can see, it works pretty well, but the thing is that it only works with like low voltage. Once I got up to higher voltage, it started arcing uh, to quite a, a degree. So it started arcing so much that the thing started smoking and I realized that it's not really practical for high voltage or high amperage uh, pulsing of, of DC. So I decided to make something else. I made this little thing. Hopefully it'll work when I turn it on here. Uh, basically I have um, uh, a variable power supply uh, hooked up to the primary coil of, of the high voltage transformer and I have it going through these two uh, tungsten rods in front of a magnet and this is how I pulse the, uh, the DC. So let me turn it on and show you what happens. Hopefully it'll work. There we go. See, look at that. That's how you pulse uh, DC. This is like a magnetic Jacob's ladder, if you're familiar with how Jacob's ladder works. And I actually get a uh, high voltage out of it. Not, not a lot, but um, hopefully you'll be able to see this. There we go. See? It's not very much. It's like you know, maybe three sixteenths of an inch. Let me just give you a better shot here. There we go. Okay, I don't want to leave it on too long because I don't I want to burn out my uh, power supply. crap <laughs> so it's not very stable as you can see but it works so what happens is uh, the arc is caught in the magnetic vortex of this magnet that's a strong uh, magnet and the whirlwind of the magnetic field pulls the arc up and causes the arc to break once it reaches um, once the gap becomes too large for the, uh, the electron flow to uh, flow across, so the, it breaks the, uh, the electron flow, which um, cuts the arc. It, it's a spark gap, in other words, if you're familiar with uh, Tesla coils. So, yeah, once it breaks, it, the arc instant, or, uh, very quickly forms again at the bottom, uh, where, the, where the two tungsten rods are closer together. And then the same thing repeats. It gets pushed up again by the magnetic vortex and then uh, breaks at the top and then forms again, just like a, a Jacob's Ladder. I actually kind of stumbled across this accidentally. What I was gonna do is I was gonna use my, uh, my water ionizer and I was gonna fill this with water and then put the ionizer in there and then with the, the ionized water, I was going to use that to reduce the air resistance so that the uh, the arc would form at the bottom because I've only got it at 17 volts and a couple amps. So normally with a spark gap you have high voltage but this is like a low voltage uh, DC spark gap but it works so I'm quite pleased with it. Let me turn it on again. <laughs> oh my god.
See, just like I text um, Jacob's letter. Of course, I don't know about my power supply. I'm basically shorting it out, so I don't want to keep it on too long. I might burn out my power supply. I did that with a previous one already. <laughs> So yeah, um, the newer electronic DC, or sorry, the newer electronic uh, power supplies have sort of like a safety mechanism where if it detects a short, it turns off. That's why I bought this old school uh, analog dinosaur here because there is no such uh, built-in safety precautions because I wanted to buy, I wanted to use it specific, specifically for um, shorting out uh, applications like the one I'm using here. It's sort of like a welder actually. I could have bought a small welder, but then that, you know, welders don't allow you to control it as well, like the voltage and amperage usually, unless you buy it like a really expensive one and you know, I'm pretty cheap. <laughs> so yeah, uh, this is what I've been up to. So the point, the goal of this is to get high voltage and use it, uh, use pulsed high voltage with this coil, which is actually a double coil. If you're familiar with Stan Dio's uh, work where he was able to create uh, an anti-gravity effect by pulsing high voltage DC into like a double coil like this, you know, you, you get the one coil uh, going around sort of like in a cylinder and then around it was a donut coil. You can see the donut coil here. I haven't finished wrapping it, but hopefully this will produce an anti-gravity effect. And then with the pulsed uh, high voltage, I could also use that possibly for um, various uh, experiments where I show the magnetic field of a, um, of a magnet um, with electrolysis. I was thinking pulsed DC might produce an interesting effect um, so we'll see how that goes that's all for now thanks for watching i'll see you all again next time bye